everybody. Welcome back to another Big Oggy Diary. And today I'm on location. Yes, I'm not at home today. The weather has brightened up for one day in the last two weeks, and I think it's going to be the only day this week. Uh, so I have um, driven up to the other end of Cornwall. There's a big reason why I'm here, but we'll discuss that in a little while. First of all, thank you very much to all the people that are interacting with these diary videos. I'm really enjoying all the interaction, all the comments, good and bad, and uh, that's important. I think it's part of growing the community. So please make sure that you also join the forum, the free forum. You'll see the details below, uh, but there's a lot of people also interacting on that. I think it's very important, very, very important. How many times can I say important in this video? Hopefully that'll be enough. Anyway, no, wrong. Important news, big important news. I am on location today because I am at Trethorne Golf Club and Hotel. Many of you will know Trethorne already. Uh, it's near Launceston. Uh, it's at the far end of Cornwall, so it's close to Devon and Cornwall border. We filmed quite a few times here, and also last year, this was the location for the Big Oggy Charity Golf Day. Why am I here? Well, because it's also going to be the location for this year's Big Oggy Charity Golf Day. And um, I'll give us a little more details about that in a while. But today, look, we know what the weather's been like here for the last well, weeks, weeks, months. Um, but I'm going to have a little look around the course, uh, hit a few shots. I've got a Neil Not Neil coming today because he's based up at the other end of Devon. So he's going to pop down and meet me, hence why it's a good location. Uh, I wanted to bring something that I used to do um, at the start of the channel back again. So I'm going to use Neil as our first guinea pig for that. Now, what it is, is that basically I used to go and meet people at courses, usually their own course, but today is different. Um, and then, sorry, wobbly camera. And then uh, we'd play some golf and I'd interview them and we'd ask questions about their life and just find out more about people. And I thought, as Neil is one of the new Buccaneers, only been seen a couple of times on the channel and is doing really well, it'd be fun to find out more about him. So we're going to include that today as the main part of the diary, but also a couple of little bits about the fact that the uh, golf day is existing and we're going to give you the date and everything. You will not be able to buy tickets yet um, because... I haven't announced what uh, date that's going to be for the sale of the tickets. But if you are interested in tickets and um, you want to try and almost guarantee yourself a space, you need to join the big Oggy Buccaneers group. Uh, it costs you about a five or a month. And uh, this is the first of the perks that the group is going to get. Uh, they will get advance notice of the tickets a couple of weeks before anybody else can buy them. So um, that gives them the option to buy their tickets first. Fair enough, they're helping support the channel financially. I've got to help them in some way too. So if you're interested in that, again, details will be below, but uh, it's a really great idea. And uh, it's the first of the perks that I can come up with. It's been a while to kind of get things organized on this and I'm still working on some other ideas, but we just need more members on that, okay? So I'm off to go get some breakfast and uh, well, then we'll wait for Neil or not Neil to come around. Breakfast is really good here. People who stayed at Trafford last time will know that. Um, I had to take the option, didn't I? How are you doing, mate? I'm all a bit chilly, but we're okay. I'm here, a bit ready chilly, to go. but he's in shorts. He has brought trousers with him, honestly. I've got shorts, though, yeah. So uh, we're going to crack on quite quickly, and then we'll chat to you as we go around. Fine. Okay? 373 yards, we're playing off the yellow. Yeah. Hole number one. Uh, yeah. We've got a buggy today. They're only letting buggies on the front nine, so we're going to pick six holes from the front nine just for a bit of fun. Lovely. You're giving me a shot, but I think I need more than that because your handicap is totally pants. 18.9. I do need to put some cards in this year. No, no way, no this way year. is it that? It's, uh, but I haven't got Neil to protect me now, so it's... Uh... That's true. So we're going to crack on, have a bit of fun. No warm-up. This could seriously go wrong. Not it, for you. It could, me, well, yeah. I think it could do, couldn't it? That's the thing. See what I mean? Not for you. You just walk in, hit a ball, <laughs> walk down in it again, don't you? It's not gone very far, though. <laughs> it doesn't need to go very far. It's a little bit wet today. It's a little bit soggy, to as say the least. Well, as befits every other course in the country right now. Yeah. The ball, so We're lucky to be playing, really. That's a lovely shot. Stayed a bit left, but it's straight and it'll give me a shot down the hill. Yes, in answer to that question, yes, we have got a buggy cam. We have got a buggy cam. Um, it's a bit bouncy. 
Uh, but that's fine. Is it a boggy? boggy it's a boggy, can? it's a boggy oggy oh, can. Boggy oggy boggy, boggy, boggy can. Oh, there we go. Then we both yeah. are. That's well, at least we're about the right distance together. Yeah, I think so. That kind of befits the fact I should be a 19 handicap. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, right. absolutely. There we go. Uh, like we said, there's a people playing behind us, there'll be people playing in front of us, but we're just going to jump a couple of holes when we can. It's just normal kind of golf today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bit of match play just fell out. That yeah. sounds good. That yeah. sounds perfect. It's a lovely day, actually. So it's, it's a par four. Um, it's a nice par four. It is a nice port for it's a lo it's kind of lovely straight out if you're if you're a good shot, yeah. good hitter, you can hit with a You can cut the corner a bit, can't fade, you? Fade. Bit of a fade. fade. Cut the corner. Yeah, that's it. But and uh, then go down the hill. I think they're both on the fairway. I think we're okay um, there. It's, you're not getting much run, that's the problem. I think they both bounce once and then stopped, oh, I think. Yeah. That's the problem. The conditions here have been seriously wet, hence yeah. why we're only allowed buggies on the front nine today. Yeah. Um but you said you played here before? Played here oh, where? Five, six years ago. We had um, a small um, golf society in the village where I live and we came away for a weekend, we had a lovely time. So we played two rounds, stayed overnight, dinner, bed and breakfast. Excellent, really good facilities, really enjoyed it. Oh look, mud bolt. Mud bolt, yeah, winter rules. Winter rules. So in theory we're letting these people play finish. Yeah. I, I can't get that far. but. You know, no you never know, you just might get that one shot that yeah. goes, yeah, that's the thing. goes a flyer. You can always hope, can't we? You can always hope that that one day, it will absolutely fly. It happened once to me at West Cornwall. I hit, I hit a fairway wood. I couldn't see where I was going, but I knew it was far too far away. Yeah. And when I went over the, the slope where I'd hit it, I basically skittled everyone off the Oh, green. no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Well, they're finishing now. It's a long shot from here, though. Yeah, long shot. I can't find my, my yard. I can't find any yardages we're, at the moment. No, we're pretty level. I've got about 200 odd yards to go. Yeah. Because of this. Yeah, there's, there's no rollout. It's very wet. No. I'm just going to try and get a bit closer for the next shot. Oh, well, it's a bit skiffy, but uh, that's okay. it's a bit closer for the next shot. That's all Perfect I can say. layup distance, I think, John. I we'll think see. That's what we'll call it. Okay, so you're going to get your little hybrid out. Are you? <laughs> My little hybrid. Winter rules. It's all a bit muddy. Yeah, more winter rules. It's a nice friendly game, isn't it, John? That's yeah, what we're playing yeah, today. Yeah. So, yeah, my little uh, Cobra one length hybrid. Yep. But we're also might... using the little small camera today because the main one is still at the menders. So, we'll just do our best with what we got. So, I think. Running I'm... and gunning today. Just trying to get it down there a bit, John. I think I'm not going to get the green. It's not on a day like today. It's 197, I think. Lovely. Oh, you only got caught by a bit of mud flying by. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's down here. well done, very good. Look at it nearer. Yeah, it's a lovely looking hole as well. Oh, that's a nice shot. That looks better. Oh, I'm not well, sure that's not going to roll. roll out there, is it? No. no. <laughs> it's just, I reckon it's just buried itself. That's we'll find out. Right, then, Neil, I reckon you've got about 65 yeah. from there. Hey, it's a really interesting uh, green complex. It's all rolling oh yeah all, all the rolling hills around here yeah. mate rolling hills on the green and uh, on the actual course itself so this is not my strong point of my game my short game I'm trying to hit a sandwich just somewhere on the green i think would be good that looks good it might be a bit short oh just just, just made the distance just made the distance well done Better than mine. Mine's in that hollow down there yeah i can't yeah. complain i can see john's it's just in the hollow it is just down there Right, anything could happen now. John's trusted me with the camera. Oh, anything, yeah, anything <laughs> could happen now with that, hasn't it? <clears throat> so he's just going to try and chip it up just to the left of me. That's a great shot. Not bad, but again, it's not, they're not rolling, are they? No. Oh, I nearly, I nearly sunk then. I nearly <laughs> sunk. <laughs> we nearly <laughs> lost John there. It was big soggy for a moment there. But come here, where's the camera? Hang on. There's, there's a lot of me to lose. <laughs> there is less of me to less lose. Less of me to lose these yeah. days. Oh, it is quite a long way. Oh, yeah, I'm just about to see it. It is quite a long way. Yeah, I'm over here somewhere. I'm going to tell you, there's a big black cloud coming. Let's just try and get somewhere up there and close would be good. Oh, that's very speedy. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, um, that's not good. I've degreened it. You haven't got the speed of the greens yet, have you? Nope. I think the thing is, you think they're going to be wet and slow. That's what I did. I really uh, and they're not pushed that. Better. Ooh. Okay. I'll just finish that off, John. If that's okay, get out you of your can. way. I'm going to come find a club. Right, that's me 
in. You got two for it, have you? Got to count now, haven't you? Yeah. One, two, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is my fifth. Right. I was in for six, I think. So John's got two for it. With his shot. I mean, that's good enough for me. Good enough. Good enough. You can have that, John. Thank you. Uh, so, we'll have a quick chat while we just let some other gentlemen tee off on this one. Again, Absolutely. it's a slightly different take again. Um, right. Bit of a change, but we'll discuss that when we get there. Yeah. So, um, where are you from? Originally. Orig <laughs> Originally, I'm from um, Manchester. Well, in between Manchester and Bolton is where I was born, but I lived for uh, well, quite a few years uh, in Manchester. Okay. And you are now based... Uh, just outside Exeter, so okay. uh, we arrived in Exeter via uh, Canada, Scotland, Yorkshire, and and Exeter. You're not allowed to stay long in most places, are you? No, it's a witness protection program. I think that's what it is. <laughs> uh, so, your golf club that you play, if you are a member anywhere, I am a member at Honiton Golf Club in okay. East Devon. So, been the there. Infamous home of Mark Crossfield, I infamous believe. Infamous home of Mark Crossfield. Have yeah. you ever met him? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Never seen him now. Never even no. seen him, mate. Well, no. you know. It's just one of those ghost-like figures that yes, appears. Just appears. It is. It is uh, yeah. But in the Hollisons, it's nice. Nice. It's fair. It's Parkland course, fairly flat, um, but it's usually really good. It's quite high up, so it does drain quite well up until recently. Uh, well, when it has up been until there. everywhere recently, Everybody, right now. Yeah. Um, I have spoken to Hollison before. I've messaged them a, oh, a couple of years ago now, yeah. and they were quite keen on us coming, All but right. it's just kind of at too far out of our distance yeah. but it's not now what with you in based no. in the area Darren kind of unable Steve's, to go anywhere apart Steve's from Steve's not far for Steve either yeah. I don't think really Devon and it? Steve as close as this yeah. so this, is, this is actually Steve Treby's home course yeah. and Alfie Treby's home course Yeah. so um, we'll be going up to Honiton I think and I'll organise a proper course vlog with yeah, us four yeah that'd be great Honiton is a nice nice course very busy it does get really yeah, well, busy well that's, that's the nature of golf right which now which is good really it's um <coughs> that is a busy course. Sunday afternoons, usually very quiet, if I'm okay. being honest. That's, that's always a good time to play. And what we'll do, we'll probably play it as, uh, well, we may play it as paired, but we may play you, so you have to play every shot so that you actually get a handicap. Oh. That's what you've got now. <laughs> no, I, but my, my handicap is 18.9, uh, though John and Neil don't believe it, but that's what it is. Um, I need to put more cards in. Obviously, not put a card in this year, but I've only played, in fact, I've only played once. I think, in reality, you're a good, steady player. You yeah. don't make a lot of horrendous mistakes I where most of us do. I can, I can have a couple of blow-up holes. I'm fairly steady, but I can have a couple of blow-up holes. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what um, hinders my handicap. And not playing t not playing regular enough, I think that's the thing. I you think know. that's the same with everybody right yeah. now, isn't it? So I would like to bring it down if I can, but I just enjoy getting out, really, if I'm being honest. You well, know, that's, that's, the that's good. We can discuss more about that on the next hole. OK, lovely. Right then, so Neil's having a little look to see where the other people are. Yeah. Mainly because I think we're on a tee that I'm not sure if it's used too much. Um, normally, as far as I remember, the tees are kind of over on the... Uh, well, they're, they're over there. Yeah, it looks like okay. a look out up there, doesn't it? So yeah. you can see where So those are. marker posts behind us don't make any sense. Um, hence winter. That one may do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to set this up. Uh, normally it'd be a 460 yard par 5, and I'm guessing. Well, that's how we're going to play it. We'll yeah. play it as a par 5, yeah, it's but I'm not sure of the distance. Still, I think. It's just a wee bit shorter than that, I think. Okay. Okay, I'll have a go. I'm aiming for that. I think, that yeah, that. kind of aim, aim for that and maybe slightly right. It will sweep down and down the hill. Oh, you know, we said earlier you don't do a bad shot very often. Yeah, I've just done one there just to, yeah, right just to prove you did. Honestly, I, re I reckon he's just trying to fit his hand. You don't take quite any pumps. Though, no, do I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't at all. And that's going to be a discussion on the golf diary as well. Do you need a handicap if you don't play, take part in comps? Is it really no, important? I don't think so. It should be for fun. But that shot of mine was not fun. <laughs> it was fun for me. <laughs> fun for John. Yeah, John's got a big smile on his face now. Well, I mean, mind you, it's awesome. <laughs> So it's a, a really nice hole sweeping down to the right. Am I in shot, mate? You're, you're, you're all good. You're all good. He's, le he's learned the business, honestly. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd do the same with you, just for fun. So John's followed mine. I'm literally the same with <laughs> you. Oh, well. It's the conditions, it's, that's what it is. We'll be putting markers on those, we won't put in shot trees. No. <laughs> uh, let's carry on, shall we? So, you're there, I'm right here. Food, oh, the green's a long way down there. You can start again and go, this is the temporary tee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good bit of editing needed, John, I think that's what it is. So it's still, still straight down. You're just saying, in your head, you see your ball sailing past Absolutely. Yeah. Sailing with a slight fade over the marker post. 
you don't mind it, don't mind. That's John just pushing his down there. Just to the left of the market post, should be able to see. see where I'm going. Yeah, that's and the thing. It's a bit weird for me. I, I know it sounds like it's not a very good shot, but actually, this is that kind of stinger, kind of driver line. Yeah. It's not going to go very high. But I like to know where I've got to go. Yeah, I think that's good. You've got a good, a good line in to wherever we're going. We're just not sure where we're going yet. Well, that's the thing. Not sure where we're going. <laughs> So, you were just saying off camera, you forgot how what a nice course this is. I have, it was a long time since we played it. I said it was a weekend away with the Golf Society, so I may have had a glass of wine or two, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a lovely course, nice and undulating. It's, uh, it's a tricky course. It, yeah. it, I would suggest if you're coming on the golf day to hire one of the buggies, yeah, uh, especially if you're not that um, fit or able. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit uh, up and down. It is a bit up and down, there's plenty of water as well. Um, it's, it's a tough course at times, it can be. Um, they do an awful lot of societies, an awful lot of uh, golf events here yeah. these days. So one reason why we're using them, they're actually really good at helping us, uh, you know, do everything we need to do. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's um, it's kind of my kind of course really. It's like a bit undulating, a bit different, a few blind shots. I quite like that. Okay. There's not as many blind shots as Bude, obviously. But, no, you know, well there you go. <laughs> but Bude was lovely as well. Really enjoyed that day. So we've we've got to the marker point, which is where my ball is, and I still can't actually remember where we're <laughs> so going. Can't see the green. Oh, there it is. There there okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to see where the people are in front. Uh, Sometimes you need to do that. I haven't played the course for ages and ages. I'm normally with Steve Tribune. He knows the way around. Yeah. So um. I think yeah. those are chaps there. Do you think? We'll, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll yeah. have a look. Okay. You're looking at your distances. Like it's still quite a way. Yes, it's quite a way because yeah, we're right. about 50 still yards away. I'm just going to use my favourite club, my little one limb. Uh, yeah, just get it out there and out there. Try and get it down there somewhere. Get your one length hybrid out, yeah. yeah that's what I'm getting out every time. See, that's the kind of shot we're used to with him. But I think that'll be alright, because that should. There it is, just starting to go to the right now. So right, it's down there somewhere, isn't it? Down there somewhere. Oh, he says record. That's a good start, he's got a red light. That's a good a red sign, that's a good sign. There you go. I do apologise for any of these uh, pictures and videos that go wrong. I'm just this getting is used also to them. Part of what happens when we when I do these ones with people who don't necessarily know what they're doing, but I will meet and we'll just have a bit of a laugh. Sometimes it's a bit hit and miss on camera. Yeah, I'll try my best. No, John, all, all I can tell you is that um, the ball is in shot, and so is John. So that's a good start. I think. It's past those trees and down the hill. Yeah. Uh, and you're up here somewhere. I'm, yeah, I can just see mine. Just saw mine a moment ago. Further down there on the left. I just want to get closer still. <laughs> That's a low one, but it's going to run. But it's going to go down the hill. We're still going, actually. And it'll be fine. It'll be fine, honestly. Yeah, that's good. You can see where you're going next time now. So, down there's the green. I'm going to move it back to kind of where Neil is. Neil's at a good shot here uh, because now we can actually see where you're going. Yeah. And that's what's so good about this hole. Once you get over that hill, it's such an inviting hole, but there's a real bad drop off on the left, on the back as well. So it's trickier than it, trickier than it looks. So I'm gonna set this up, because I might shot chase this, you never know, I have to go back for a long way with you. Especially going down a hill. There you go. So you reckon it says 190 for you, but it seems closer, but we don't know. It does, not it? It doesn't seem that far. I'll give it a hit and see you. That's all you can do. Just try and get it down there. Like John, it's difficult when you're playing a course you've not played for a yeah, long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Uh... That's a bit low and a bit of a stinger run, but oh, you're not going to be far off, are you? No, it's down there, just like right, short right, I think it is. I think it may have held up on the last bit yeah, before it got to the okay green. For it. It, wasn't, it wasn't the greatest strike in the world, but it's down there somewhere. Look, but none of us have played since Bude. I know. <laughs> the no. weather is atrocious. It's no. until today. So I don't really care how we play. No. And it's more about finding out about you. Oh, good. Get ready. We'll try and ask some really personal questions. Excellent. In a I always like talking about myself. I didn't get as far as I wanted because, again, it's very heavy. I'm not quite on the fairway. About six feet short of the fairway. 170 yards to go. More or less there, thereabouts, I think. You can just see the top of the flag. Again, from there, I'm going to seven on, but I know I should go more, but. Right it's now. not running very much, is it? So, oh, that's a nice shot. If that comes round, all depends on the bounce. It looks good. It's how much it's going to go, isn't it? Yeah. We'll see. We'll take a look. It's a good shot, though. So, well done, lucky, lucky man. Lucky man. Lucky Just man. Protection, I think you call it. No? Handy that bit of mud there, wasn't it? So, <laughs> thank. Yeah, it's a big, I think that could be my uh, ball mark there. So you're you're there, I'm just there, 
I'm there for four, you're there for three. Yeah. That's about even then. Yep. Yeah. Makes it nice and easy. So let's just try and get it over, the, nowhere near that bunker, that's what we're trying to do. That'll be the key. Not the best stance here, it's a bit muddy, but let's just see what we can do. Looks nice, looks subtle. Oh, that's very good, mate. Oh, Thank that's you. pressure. Oh, oh, oh. Right, I can go home a happy man now. Absolutely. So yeah, you put a little bit of pressure on me, did you? Yeah. Just a little bit. That's been my short game, mate. I didn't... <laughs> oh, but John's put himself in a really good position here. He's there for four. That's a good contact. Ooh, it had a look. It had a look. But that's a really good contact, a very good shot, John. I'm you're not going to putt very well. <laughs> so, John hit a good shot, it just... You hit a better one. Yeah, it just kicked on a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. I no, think I think you should, I think it's good. I'm at my level, but you're there. It's hard to win, realistically. Like that, I think. Yeah, it looks it. It's a good yeah. shot. Oh, had a look. Yeah, I went for it. So <laughs> those horrible words. Hey, it's still you. Oh, dear. Oh, I'll see that. <laughs> You'll get it in two. You'll be fine. Go okay, on. I'll have a go. This is the part. This is fine. Good effort, isn't it? Yeah, I, I knew you'd do it, that's why I had to go for the first one. So, you back. did it for the views, John, you did it for the views. Back, just to, <laughs> back to level. Um, so, uh, we'll play the next hole. So, Neil's just checking to see where we go next. Uh, basically, this, this hole, uh, you hit up a hill, and then, if you're decent, uh, your second shot will be going down towards the green. So it's kind of straight up and then a really strict left. But the green's quite tricky. Um, <laughs> you've just been seeing all the people still on top of that hill. Yeah. Whether that's their first or second shot, I don't know. I think, they're, co they're, I think they're coming down. No, no, no. They're, well, they could be coming down, they could be coming across. Quite a tight little, fun little yeah. area here. Um, so it's kind of zigzagging the course at the moment. Yeah. So this is hole number four. So, what should we ask personal for you for two seconds? Oh, whatever you want, go on. Oh no, go on, well, let's just start off with work. What do you do for a living? If, um, you, do, if you do anything I, I do, unfortunately, I still work, yes. Uh, I'm not able to retire yet. <clears throat> One day I'll be able to retire. One day. Well, one day. we all will one day. Yeah. Uh, I'm an occupational health advisor. So okay. basically, I'm a qualified nurse, but I've specialised in occupational health. Um, so I look after people at work, try and get them back to work, keep them at work, and advise any, any adjustments they might need. Sounds so, good. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure about people keeping people back at work. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's not good, is it? <laughs> uh, you can't go and play golf if you're working. Uh, no. Yeah. That's good for your mental health, though. You could say that's Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. That's, that's true. very good. So, yeah, so... so um, I started nursing in 1982, so that was a long time ago, and I've been doing occupational health for 25 years, something like that. Now. I left school so, in 1982. Yeah, see, yeah. see, I'm old, John. I keep telling you, I'm old. <laughs> you didn't far off retiring then. Uh, yeah, I know, one day I will, but it's, uh, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I do, so that keeps me out of trouble. It's, uh, You're a bit of a wearer of shorts, we'll discuss that in a minute. Yeah, we can yeah. talk about shorts. I like wearing shorts all the time. Should have been possible. a postman, honestly. I know, Should've yes, been a all the time if possible. So let's go and crack on hole number four. Okay, no. Ah, that's a nice shot up to the right. But that's good. Swinging round left. It's in play. Perfect. Lovely. Again, we're both a little bit right, but similar places. I think, anyway. We'll go take a look. Green's down there. Yeah, a little. There's water on the left-hand side, and it kind of goes round slightly around the back a little bit as well. Okay, so don't go left. I think that's what John's telling me. Don't go left. Yes. <laughs> don't go left. Hmm. I get the well. I wish you were going through. <laughs> but then if you get a good shot, then you don't want to go second, do you? It's gone right. If it's over those bushes... Don't know. Don't know where it's going. I think it's okay. I think it's a bit short, oh, I think. Yeah. yeah, when you don't want to go left, no. because you'll see more and more as you go further along how much uh, water there is there. Like you can see more of it now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But whether I've cleared the bushes, I don't know. No. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm going with an eight iron. I'll try and get over there. 
That looked very good, but it's sweeping a little bit left. Oh, are you in that thick grass just on the left? I'll be on thick grass on the left, I think, unfortunately. Oh, that'll be all right. Well, John's got... I, you might say unfortunate, mate, but it's better than where you could have been. Can I just say, if John could turn the camera around, he's got a big smile on his face now. We can see no, I haven't. I haven't found mine yet. <laughs> right. I know. One, one more toddle down, it'd be lovely. Yep. <clears throat> John's... Oh, careful, John. John's in a precarious position, should we say. That's a great shot. What a great shot, John. Well done. It was accurate. It was accurate. Well, I've got to try and get down and break my neck. Yeah, I might, I might film John coming down. Yeah, well. Take it easy, John. Oh, I don't know that. Well, we, we needed some shorts on the uh, on the channel, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, we're supposed to try and make this a, long, a quick video, mate, not, a, not three hours. Okay, sorry. John down a slope. Oh. Right, John's there. Is it still on? He's still on. He's a lucky git, he is, honestly, I caught him more than that, but I'll show you where his ball is. We thought he was stuck in the long grass. He kind of is. Yeah, he kind of is, but he is literally pin eye. How, I don't know. I'm not sure this is going to end up, John, it's a bit lumpy. A bit lumpy and bumpy. Very good, but yeah, there'd be no control on that. It's in play. Yeah, it's in play. Um, we're so far away from each other, I've got to put this camera miles away from you. <laughs> well, key to filming is get your ball near the other person. There we go. Oh, my friend, it's a plastic Down the slim. Yeah, it is. It's just hard to do some greens, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you need this. You're in, mate. That's it. Yeah, you need this. You're in, mate. That's it. Okay. So, this front wing, this one's in for a draw. Yep. If you go for it, you can play second. Oh, I went for it. Look at that draw, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, all square still. Off to the next hole. Right, so we're going to crack on with. Uh, this par three, hole number five, is 144 from the yellows. It looks further, and I will say I've never got on a green yet in this, every time I've played this course. It's slightly elevated green as well, isn't it? So well, my, so my usual theory is, you know, for me, play it as a par four, but there's a lot of lot of dodgy stuff in the front of you. Yeah. So, get it out of here, mate. There we go. That looks very good. A little bit left. Short left. Not far off though, are you? No, it's a good hit. Yeah. Short left. It's a deceptive hole, slightly elevated green. Honestly, if I didn't aim for that bunker, I probably won't get there, so that, that'd be my first shot. I think that'd be good. Never thought of that before, Yeah. Oh, that's a good strike from John. Aim towards that tree. And a bit of bass ricochet right. Yeah, and he's there for nothing. Near the bunker, right? I know, that's oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. That's, that's too good. It's a good shot. <laughs> oh, it's a bit bumpy. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still. Can I just say, it's not my driving, it is the, uh, the terrain. It's the moment, terrain. Yeah. Um, I was just saying to, to Neil, my usual go-to shot here is whack it really hard, do it wrong and end up in the water, which is we're just going to drive past now, or somewhere on the right in the bushes you can't get out of. Maybe that's a good thought I've just come up with. Sometimes you don't have to go for the green. Don't aim for the green, especially if you're not that good. Aim close to the green, but in a safe position. So you've got a shot in. Yeah, it's using your shots, isn't it? Really? Using, using your shots, absolutely. So, let's go and take a look. I hope I'm not in the bunker after saying that. I really do. <laughs> but it, I actually struck it really well for once. It was a good hit. It was a good oh, hit. Oh, no. Great contact. What a lovely shot. Slow down. Pin high, right very good shot. So, Neil's got a super long putt. Yeah, I'm just off the he's, green. He's putting off the green. There's not much range, so I'm, I'm probably better putting, really. Just try and get up there somewhere. Just right. get your speed right for once. Last time it was miles past. Much better. Miles short. Yeah, well, 
but it's better than flying past 25 feet. As Neil's got his uh, club and we're playing ready golf, I'll let him go first. Yep, I will. Very good. Oh, good enough. Take it away. I'm going to use yours. So about ready golf. Right. Yeah. You got one Yeah. Sorry. You get yours. It's only there, John. You get yours. Ah, it's fine. So how many shots have I got? Um, you're there for two. I am. You got in in. I was in in four. Oh, I got loads. You got loads of shots. I just dabble it, dabble it, dabble it. I would. I was in for four. One. Two. Yeah, I was in for four. Well, you can have that one. Thank you. It was on target. On. <coughs> Thank you. So John's one up. And the theory worked again about using my extra shots. So I got four, which is basically a par. Happy with that. Perfect. Right, I'll get the club. Let's crack on to another hole. I'm not sure which one yet. We'll take a look. So Neil, uh, talking of shorts, yes. we're on the we're on the sixth <laughs> tee right now. Um, yeah, I like the new little YouTube short you did for us. Oh yeah, cool. yeah, I quite enjoyed that. So um, if no one's seen it, obviously you know. Take a look. I'll Take a look. Link. I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere. I may even put it on here. Oh, Carry good. Um, and it was just a little thing about, you know, buying golf clubs is really expensive, you know. And new drivers are five, six hundred pounds. Can't afford that. So there's other places you can get golf clubs like Golf Bidder or eBay and things like that. But what I found is um, <coughs> local recycling centre. For a couple of quid, you can pick up clubs that you can actually use. Obviously, there's a lot of rubbish there, but every now and then you get a good one. The short I did was um, a Nike putter which is really good um probably about 10 or 12 years old but this was in good condition it had a, a little uh, putter head cover as well and it cost a pound um and it worked really well well it's already uh, on the video it yeah. did on the video yeah. no editing but honestly no that was, really that, was, that was one take it's a uh, and uh, now my son has commandeered it um <coughs> so he's using that um in the past i've got a couple of um tightless vokey wedges as well which were a pound each i think amazing you'd be surprised what you will find yeah. if you just, uh, just go out there and search for yeah, things that's it you know and especially for people who are starting off it's yeah. a really good way just to get into it just you know help you get around the course and things like that I think sometimes a bit of impatience they think oh, i need a full set of clubs i'm gonna go and buy a set and i'll take a chance and like you said you don't need to no. you don't need to just to enjoy the game yeah when you get better you want the better stuff but yeah. right now but get what you can afford i think my first set when i was ooh, 14, 15, something like that. It was like a £10 box set from the Bolton Evening News or something yeah. like that, you know, and I think a few of my mates all got them at the same time. And that's what we started with. You know, I didn't, I didn't have a driver for years. Some so, say I still shouldn't use a driver, but that's uh, another yeah. story. It's, um, so we're going to let you throw a pay through. We're going to pay this hole, which is a par five, yep. and uh, then we're going we're gonna to do a little what's in the bag, very okay. quick what's in the bag. Yeah, that's okay. perfect. So, on our golf day, did I mention the golf day, this is actually our longest drive hole. Uh, it's 476 we're playing off the others today, but there is a couple of hazards, which is why we like, quite liked it for fun. Uh, it's got a big right to left slope, and it's got one tree, as you can see, close, and another tree further on for people to hit big. So it can always be a bit of a hazard for them, but it is definitely a right to left sweeping hole down a slope. So, if you'd like to start us off, what we'll do is we'll probably drive off, and yeah. then we'll let people come and play behind us, and then we'll have a little chat. Okay. That's very good, especially the way you fade a ball. Well, we'll certainly find that one. Well done. Oh, that's a lovely hit from John, a bit to the right. Yeah. Absolutely. Good height on that, John, as well for you. Yeah, it's up in the air. Yeah. Any, anything, anything off that is a good height for Absolutely. me. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so you mentioned your son. Yes. Um, having a putter off you. Yeah, he stole my putter. Yeah. Um, does he play much? Uh, no, not as much as I'd like him to. Okay. Um, my son's very naturally talented at all sports. Okay. Um, I mean, he can outdrive me now. Yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. he's 18. He's been able to outdrive Swing. me for probably yeah. two or three years. Um, and he doesn't really try, but he's still very good. Um, but he's been going with his mates to the driving yeah, yeah. range and things like that. Um, but hopefully, maybe one day in the future, Max, you will uh, have a game with me. I'll play you for a tenner. How about yeah, that? Yeah, well, I'll film it. There you go. I'll film it. Anything to get a tenner off of you. <laughs> yeah, we were just saying, because obviously, this is uh, the home course of Steve and Alfie Treby. Yeah. And um, obviously, Arthur is really into his golf, and Steve's encouraged him all the way through. So yeah, it's really good. He does have to the juniors, the Steve and things. So, 
um, junior golf the big thing. It is, and right. hopefully, you know, getting more kids into it. I think, I think golf has changed a lot, I think, over the years. It's more, it's more cool, I think, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's not super so. cool, obviously, but it's more cool than no, it used to still, be. You know, there's a lot of younger people playing it, and, you know, you, you, a lot of places you're not stuck with a dress code as, as yeah. much as you used to be. You know, obviously, I'm wearing shorts, I try and wear shorts as much as I can. Um, but a lot more places, a lot more relaxed, which I think is much better. Well, I think that's, that's, the, way, that's the way it's got to be in the future. We're going to do a video about that, but I can guarantee when I start, if I do a diary about dress codes, there'll be people who go straight into the over the top, well, I don't want them wearing football shirts and yeah. jeans. And because that's, that's right. the automatic yeah, that's argument. Yeah, that's the default people. But you can wear, you know, shorts and, and a decent t-shirt. I mean, look at hoodies now. Hoodies yeah. for years were never worn on the golf course. And then I think it was Tyrrell Hatton wore one years ago. Well, there's, there's all the joke about role, the, um, the, the, no collars and then yeah. Tiger Woods starts wearing yeah, the collar. Well, I can it. guarantee most of the, let's say, posh courses or whatever, yeah. or well-known course I've been to have had a dress code. Yeah. If I walked in and they said no, that'd be fine. If Tiger Woods come in, they'd be thanks very much, Tiger, yeah. and play a golf. I think it's being sensible, isn't it? It's being smart. I think that's the important thing. Yeah. It's so, on. should we find out where I am? Come up in the yeah. trees. Okay, as the greenkeeper trundles by. As they, there, as they always do. They always do on my channel. I love it. I love them to it. <laughs> so, we are kind of in the trees, but we have slipped down slightly. Well, I say we did, because actually it didn't. It just embedded itself in there. I'll show you a close-up of how far this ball doesn't roll. Don't need to do that. I put it on a photo. Oh, OK, we're there good. We go. I don't know how to zoom but, yet. But it's buried, all right? So I've, I brought a seven iron thinking I'll probably be further up, but I'm not. I'm just going to get it on the fairway and keep going. Long way to go yet. Good shot from John there. Again, it's not rolling, is it? it lands no, it's, not, it's just sticking. That's you... like fantastic backspin. Dudda, That's what it is. Yeah, right. And prove the theory that trees are 90% air because that missed every branch going <laughs> through there, I think. <laughs> right, mate, so you came down the um, fairway, down the yeah, right left hand slope. Just on the edge of the fairway. Good shot, good shot. It's very muddy. We're pretty similar distance now because I'm literally kind of hacked yeah, out of the trees. Up now, slightly further up. Uh, just try and get it down, it's part five, just try and get it down there a little bit, keep it in place. Left hand side of the main tree on the right hand, and you'll be fine. Oh, I look straight at it. Of course, there is a bit of a slope on that left. We'll see. That was right at the flag, wasn't it? It's in play, it's nice and straight, that. That's all the that green, is. but that's good. I'll take my jumper off. I know. And now the sun's gone in, it's gone cold. Well, not cold, really. Just a little bit of a chill. It's a low skimmer from John. Oh, He's still going. He's still going. Better keep going down the hill. That's all I can say right now. Good shot. Not, no, not a good shot, but it'll keep going. Yeah. I'm hardly surprised to go. The hill's actually not very far in front. We thought it'd gone a lot better than that, but again, they're just not travelling, are they? No, not running. Straight lands and stops. Low ones don't roll back. It's a good hit from John, just going to be short left, I think. It's rolling down. That'll be okay. It's okay. okay. It's in play. I know you say good shot because we are encouraging, but I know yeah. it's not a good shot, and people can often quite happily say that on the channel. Um, for me, in this weather conditions, I, I'm just trying to get further and closer to the green, so I'm in a kind of scoring position where my next shot, hopefully, yeah. will go on the green. Um, but yeah, I, I should be doing better. But hey. It's winter golf. It's just winter golf, it and we're out, in, and that's where we are. Well, nice. there's your ball, quite, John. Yeah, quite frankly, over the last few weeks, we couldn't get out. No, so I'm, not, it doesn't I'm, really just, I'm not played since Bude, I don't think. Um, um, that's the good thing about Lynx golf. Lynx golf, I mean, Bude, it was fantastic. The course was really good. It was frosty at first when we first started. A couple of first two holes are doing some work on, which will be lovely when it's finished. Yeah. But the rest of the course was really good condition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's no plug golf balls or anything like no, that. No, and, and I've, so. um, you know, I've been hearing from people like Dan Henriksen and some other YouTubers, some bigger ones that I know, and they're all trying to find links courses yeah. right now to play yeah. to film because, well, no matter how good the Parkland ones are, no, we've had a few plug balls today, and uh, yeah. the four ball went just through, said that oh they could see their ball this time. Cause yeah, every time it's landed on the grass, it's disappeared. Everywhere's the same. It's just been a lot of rain, haven't there, really? Yeah, yeah and that's so. not criticising Trafford. That's just the situation no, of Parkland golf no. right now. Trafford, I mean, the, the greens are really good, and yeah. most of the fairways are really good actually. It's just odd bits. So it's just, just don't get on them very often. Just not, it's just not running very far, is it? That's no, the thing. and and certainly at a high handicap level, when you don't get the distances, then you need that roll out yeah. to help. Yeah, especially when I'm hitting low like I yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, you just. You just, you're no, on a normal day, that shot would have rolled another 20, 30 yards. I think, yeah, and I'd have been a lot happier. But hey, 
It is what it is. And that's just golf right now. It is what it is. It'll get better soon. We will do. We same, will do. same with the courses. Let's crack on. Okay. So I've stood back a little bit because obviously Neil's shots are normally pretty high. Um, I know I'm struggling on this hole just purely for distances. Neil, you've got a good chance here, mate. Yeah, still trying to get started over to the right and bring it back a little bit, I think. You're about 140. Here, here it sounds good, doesn't it? Here oh, you always took a good shot, and normally you execute it pretty well. Like that. Like that. Oh. Just landed and never moved. No, just short. Just short. short. It's okay. Very good. Very good. It went more or less where I wanted it to. It's got a 50 degree wedge. And there's so a green. Far. It's been all right, hasn't it? Yeah, it's going good. So far. Yeah, and there's a green keeper as always. Yeah, yeah. Love an audience. Yeah, love an audience, don't you? <laughs> this is your hole, alright? Okay. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, John was in a really clumpy yeah. bit there. Yeah. It's hard to get out of those. So, I have to say that was a capitulation. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got, oh. you got yourself in a very muddy situation. I couldn't get out of it. Couldn't get out of it, no. It was, um, the block and tackle for your ball, I think, yeah. at one point, wasn't it? it that, was a... that and the green keeper looking at you going, yeah, was. hurry up lads, I want to get by. That's yeah. It. Oh, I hate an audience, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not sure what the score is, mate. All square, I think, All John. square. All, All square, square with two to go. Yeah. I seem to do okay, then yeah. have a capitulation, then do okay, then have a capitulation. It's the excitement, I think, John. It gets too much for you. It is, it is. So we're, uh, we're actually jumping a hole. We're ignoring the seven, which is a great hole, actually, but it's all uphill. You can't see a lot um, until you get near the green. Plus, we're on to give ourselves a bit of room because some people yeah. behind are starting to catch up. Again, looks another really nice hole. Uh, it's a lovely it's, hole. Um, um, we just can't fill them all. We are going to come back and do a full Cornish Quest vlog here. Yeah. We'll probably bring Steve Tree because he knows the course. It might so be well. an idea because Steve knows where to go yeah. and we don't really. Um, so. so it's just it's just a bit of fun today. More more to talk about you than anything else. Oh right, that's all. It's good oh, to yeah. talking about me. So yeah. we're going to move around to uh, hole number eight. So while these people are just going to tee off, we're now we're back behind them. We're where we want to be. Hole number eight is the par three, which a lot of people would have seen on the channel because Ooh. that was the one we used for the charity golf day video. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were using a wedge, which I thought was hilarious. On the last hole, there was a sticker talking to the charity golf day. There was a Man Down Cornwall sticker on the side. Ah, was it show. really? And uh, Man Down Cornwall, a fantastic charity, and uh, they help a lot of people with um, mental health issues, depressional issues, suicidal issues, lots of problems. Yeah. Uh, in Cornwall and probably across the Devon as yeah. well. Uh, and. They were fantastic last year and, and they all, a lot of them took part and it was just great to come and watch them and talk to some of them and uh, we just really want to help their channel again. So we want to help their, their charity again. Yeah. And so we've picked them again for this year. So that'll be great. They'll be here as well with their banners, the yellow banners. It's good. It's nice to do something local as well, isn't it? You know, yeah. a lot of charities do it for you know nationwide charities, which are great. But sometimes it's nice to do something local, isn't we've, it? We've done it for bigger charities. I've done yeah. it for prostate cancer at one point because my, my father passed away with it. Um, but I find the problem with the big charities is like if we raise two or three thousand pounds, that's yeah. just a drop in the ocean, yeah. and that's fine. But to smaller charities, certainly yeah. local ones, two or three thousand pounds that keeps them going for a while. Of course it does. Of course it does. Uh, and that's very important. So. Uh, we're going to keep them again for this year. Hopefully, I'm going to do a little video like this with yeah. some of the people from that. Who That'd paid. be good. Um, That'd be that'll good. be interesting. Maybe they'll tell us some more details about their charity. And obviously, if you want to get involved, I'll put their links below. If you need to, uh, obviously, need kind of support from those those sort of people. Yeah. Um, I know I've had severe mental health problems over my life, so again, it's quite it's one of those near things to me that I have to think about. So uh, we're talking of <laughs> worrying, stressful things. We're on to this uh, par three over water. Yeah, there's a lot of mm. water there, John. There's more water than green by the look of it. Um, yes, but in theory, if you hit the ball right, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be, the in theory. Right. In yeah. theory. Where's, um, where's Neil when you need him? That's, what <laughs> yeah, that's true, say. yeah, where's Neil when you need him? Lee Whitter did land the, in the water here, remember really? I did in the golf day, and, well, a few people did. Um, I need to find out where the tee box is because obviously things have been moved around the wet, so we'll yeah. have to check out where we are. But um, we'll keep going. We're doing okay, John. We're doing okay. Mm. It's, uh, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Good, bad, good, bad, good, good, bad. Good, bad, good, bad. <laughs> okay. My friend, we're on. All right. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. Don't break your neck yet. Not yet. Right. So we are on hole number eight. Yes. Which I said is, is one of our charity holes on the golf day. Did I mention the golf day? Once or uh, twice, but keep mentioning it. Yeah, we will. So it is, look at the scores here. Uh, normally it's anything between, can't get my photograph up. Anything between 185 and 135, depending on whether you're on whites or yellows. They've set a new one up here. We're using um, actual 
artificial tea boxes right now because of the wet weather. 155, I believe. I've That's got a little says, sign yeah. for it. Uh, would you like to go as I'll, you I'll won the last hole? Oh, well, I say you won it, I lost it. <laughs> I was going to win it, I'm sure I was. Oh, I think you were, yeah. Good luck. Oh, might need it, my whatever. Fine. That's actually uh, what's what a lot of people should do here, is play too far. Yeah, it's if they play dry, far, John. you're in a chance. This will be fun, we're going to have to go with that, I think. No, John's using a seven wood. <laughs> I don't really, I don't mind what I use, because he's just <laughs> going to go in the water, That's a great shot from John, it's over, it's safe, it's long, but it's dry, which is the most important thing. I don't want to get another board out, I don't want to get another board out. Both over, that's great. So, in reality, that wasn't a problem. No, we did much better than I thought we would do, really. Yeah, both, we did. Both dry. Um, mine was slightly inaccurate, but it still would have cleared it, and yeah. that's the good thing. I used to always use my seven wood. For some reason, I've stopped in my popularity list, and I think it needs to go back. As, uh, I think you go through phases, don't you? Where one club you hit it really well, and then you just kind of get gets put on the naughty step. I think when yeah, it misbehaves. I've, I've never time. really had that much misbehaviour. No. I think the problem is I've looked at other clubs and thought, oh, I could probably use this. Yeah. I should use that, and, and maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should just use what you got now that you like. So um, we're going to hopefully chip on and uh, finish this hole, and then um, before actually before we go, very quickly. You've got a problem with your knee. I've got old knees. You've got old knees. Old um, knees. Excruciate ligament injury, I believe. Yeah, they, they, some they, years uh, ago. Yeah, obviously. Um, when I was younger playing football, it was always on muddy pitches. There was more mud than grass. Um, did my cruciate in about aged about 22, something like that. Um, then, unless you're a professional footballer, there's no operations. It's just long leg plaster price for 12 weeks, and that was fine. It recovered well, but I've always been prone to a bit of arthritis. So as I've got older, I've had um, a microfracture procedure a few years ago where they drill lots of holes into your kneecap. Yeah, no, doesn't yeah, sound very pleasant. And now. that worked for re for quite a bit. Um, but no, it just aches. Uh, it's, you know, it does alter my gait a little bit. So I do wear a knee a knee well, pad. Well, I, I just wonder. People might, might have noticed on the viewed ones when they see you walking along, you kind of walk a little bit like yeah. you're riding a horse. It's yeah, that little yeah. strange. That's it, issue. and it is. It's just trying to, you know, compensate for that, really. But it's but, the first time they would have seen you probably on the course in shorts. Yeah. They're now just seeing the brace. Now seeing my knee brace, which which makes it a lot easier. And I, you know, well, I will one day, you know, need surgery. But at the moment, they keep telling me I'm too young, which is quite nice, really. To be well, told you're too young. And you're still hitting a golf ball, but when yeah. you're not hitting a golf ball, well, anymore, that's it. And you go, I need a. I think the last time I went to see um, see the doctor about it, and they said, oh, when did you when did your knee get really sore? And I think I said, well, it was really sore when I started when I was skiing last. Yeah. And they said, right. <laughs> Off you go now. <laughs> yeah, you're not ready. <laughs> That's it, not ready for it now. So, yeah. So when you stop the skiing, you can't hit a ball at 200 yards. Yeah, when I can't play golf, when I can't go cycling, that's when I'll stop, I think. That's the thing. <laughs> Let's go and get these balls on the green. Okay, no. So, John's just shot left of the green. Um, bit of lumpy stuff. It's a bit dry. Yeah, he's dry. <laughs> That's perfect, just slightly off the green. It's pin eye, and it's not in the water, which is very close on the other side. If that was in the water for me, mate, I'd have been very. <laughs> so, kind of almost a kind of similar issue for uh, Neil, not Neil here. A little bit flatter. Yeah. Kind of a bit of a duff. Bit of a shot. Yeah. Well, we've all been there today, mate. I mean, yeah, that's why I find funny. I'm just off the green, but I know. actually, quite a seriously lot closer than you. I think it's a bit left to right and down the hill. That's a great plan. Well, it's a bit left to right and down the hill. That looks good to me, John. Thank you. Take that way. Yeah, take it away. It's after the foot. No, I had to go for it because uh, John was there you, you did. with your shot. Um, John's hole. So my hole. Yeah. So uh, I'm back to one up. Is that right? Back to one up again. Yeah. We got one more hole to play, which Ooh. is the ninth. Okay. Okay. Good.
Um, but we're going to do a little what's in the bag with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very quick. I promise. We just want to crack on with the golf. We were going to do this as a separate video, but hey, let's get crack it on and get it all into the one video. You can enjoy it or not, whatever they like. So this is your quick what's in the bag. What's in the bag? Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Start with the big dog. Big dog driver. So um, most of my clubs are Cobra, mainly because they're cheaper. That's the okay. reason. I, and they are. Uh, well, they're, they're, good. they're not. They're, they're cheap. They're good value for money. That's it. That's probably what I should say. Yeah. Uh, so it's a Cobra King uh, SZ Speed Zone um, driver. Um, 10.5 degree loft, but it's down to 9.5. Is there a little, I, I don't know if I got this wrong, is there a little marker up here? Is that a price on there? Go around, you know, <laughs> no, this side. No, it's not, no. Oh, I thought that's it was a price. Yeah, no, that's oh, okay. just yeah. I looked at it earlier and thought, they've got a price on it still. So okay. I like it. it, it works for me. Yeah, it's Darren. Nice Darren's one. a big Cobra fan. Yeah. Some of our people are big Cobra fans, yeah. so. So that's my driver. Um, I did notice you have um, a one single length one. Single length hybrid. But only the hybrid, is that only right? Only the hybrid, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll come to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fairway woods, again, Cobra. I'm not particularly good at fairway woods. That's something I need to improve on, I think, this year. Okay. Uh, these are old ones. These are Cobra King F8s. So they're a few years old now. And they've got these baffler rails. Yeah, the rails, called. yeah. Yeah. Which seem to help cut through the rubbish. I was always told it was worth, it was worth me having a look at yeah. Cobra stuff. And I, maybe I will. I like them. I like them. Um, but... Yeah, I'm not very confident with fairway woods, so okay. I need to, that's something I need to work on. I've Myself, got... I am in the market for woods and fairways, etc. at the yeah. moment, so that's what I'm thinking about, maybe yeah. getting cable, we'll so see. Got, uh, a, they're both adjustable, so that's a three wood and that's a five wood, and you can adjust them up as well. So, okay. So like a three, four and a five, six. So that's those. Then, my favourite club, which is my one length hybrid. It's certainly your go-to, the amount of times you just say, oh, I'm going to get the hybrid out, and I think that'll be a good shot yeah. every it's, time. Um, so it's a Cobra Red Speed, uh, one length hybrid, uh, 19 degrees. It's really good for, you know, fairway shots off the tee and also around the green as well. I yeah. use it for little chips and runs. Yeah. Um, and I think it just works for me. Just to, just I, for I could go back that way just to show you demonstration yeah, of chip sorry, and run so, if you really wanted, yeah. but so just, there you go. You know, so either a full shot or just like a little chip and run. And it just seems to work for me, really. Well, so, so. certainly over the years, I was one of those advocates of a, those kind of big putt type chip and yeah. runs. Um, and I always used to use my tightness hybrid for yeah. it. Uh, so, again, it's one of those things I think everyone needs to learn that you yeah. can use a hybrid for a lot of things, That's not it. necessarily yeah. just for... I think, just, I think for pissing. the one length, I'd probably lose a little bit of distance with it, but I think for those trips around the green, it just really... It's like two clubs in one, I think. Yeah, but also, you said you might lose a little bit of distance on using yeah. it as a normal hybrid, but yeah. blimey, you use it so well do, every I time. Do. It's used a pretty consistent form with that. Yeah. Um, Irons, again, Cobra. Um, King um, F9 Speedback. Okay. Just a basic, you know, mid handicap iron, really. Nothing okay. fitted, you just bought them off a shop just or the, um, online? Or? Um, I think I bought them online, I think. Okay. I, I've been, had some done before years ago, and I was just regular, upright, you know, nothing, no no longer, no shorter, yeah, yeah. lengthwise. And again, it just seems to work for me. So most of the time, it's pretty good. Um, In the end, that's all that matters. Yeah. These things got to work for you. I like okay. so we know we've done that on the video already about yeah. the fact you can get clubs cheaper in places. So yeah. Not always about um, no. getting it fitted, no. etc. I, the think, best I you think get. I got those probably a year or two after they first came out. Yeah, so again, so they're the bar, you back it. cheaper, you know. So it's a, and I go from five to some wedge in those. Okay. And um, got a couple of wedges, which is a bit strange because they're both different. Um, I don't really know why. Uh, I've got a 50 degree Cleveland CBX. Very popular uh, choice. Yeah, yep. Cleveland are really good wedges. And I've also got um, a tailor-made high-toe uh, 58 degree. Well, I quite like the high-toes, yeah. I, I will say. Uh, do you use them for like, a bunker, etc.? Yeah, yeah. I, well, a bunker, I usually use my sand wedge, my 56. Oh, okay, but, you've actually got one there. Uh, but this is just not so much of the winter, because it does tend to dig in a little bit, this one. But in the summer, it's pretty good for getting it high, those little lob shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I use that as well. Um, I just think they're good to look down on the ball with as well. You just, they just feel like you've got more of a club. Yeah. And Cleveland especially, I mean, they just make really good wedges. Yeah. You know, it's, a, again, reasonable price. And again, I just, I think that, with this one, I think it's really quite consistent. I think yeah. that's, for me, that's what you want. Isn't it? And then my putter is a uh, zebra putter. Okay. These were made famous years ago, I think in the 70s or 80s. Yeah. Um, and then they've just re-released them recently. Just so, do a close-up of that, bring it over a little bit. There you go. So, why is it called a zebra, mate? Because it's got already stripes, probably. And there's a and there's a zebra, and a zebra on, on the, the back. Button, yes, yeah. there is. So it's a, so it's quite a lot. I like putters. I've got quite a few quite a few different putters. Yep. I'm afraid. Um, and I, I use Odyssey putters. I've got a Scotty Cameron. I don't particularly get on with that, but I might try it again. And I just thought this one is slightly bigger uh, area. 
So you, you just feel like you just feel like you got something in your in yeah. your eye line that's more. Yeah. And I like, I, like, I like these stripes as well for alignment. I, I thought it was great. I'd give one go at it today, and I yeah. really liked it. Yeah. yeah. So um, I've not had it long, so I need to practice a bit more with that as well. So, okay. Um, so that's my bag. Um, Anything interesting in your bag? Not really. Not really. Not oh not. dear. I did say it was a quick video on this Some channel. Teams. Some what was that? Ball. Oh, teeth. I thought it said cheese. No okay, teeth. Fine. No teeth. Go on, but, um, well, it's... Oh, I am. I know. Good job. Galaxy chocolate cake bar. There you go. <laughs> I'm not. You. I can't have one. Oh, go okay. Away. I'll have it for you then, John, on the way home. It's a. Uh, and, and it's just he's a swine. I hate him. <laughs> a Cobra bag, just again. Okay. Good. Uh, good any value. particular ball, or do you just use whatever no, you get? No, I use whatever. At the moment, I'm using the type of true feel. Yeah. So it's like true feel ball. Yeah. It's a, and you tend to use yellow. Yeah, I like yellow. I, I think I like to be able to see it. My, I'm getting old. I'm yeah. getting really old. Uh, my eyesight's not as good as it used to be, so I like to wear yellow. So I, can I, see I take easy. you to my club at Merlin. You might have fun because there's daisies and there's lots of like buttercups and stuff all over the place. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. Could we'll lose it that. there for yeah. you. So yeah, so uh, at the moment tight is true field, maybe in the winter and uh, maybe in the summer I might use like a, a chrome soft if I can get them cheap yeah, yeah. or late balls. But or again, it's value for money. It's, it's yeah. At our level, do you really want to spend four or five pounds <coughs> no, for a golf ball? No, I'm not good. I don't notice the difference, I'm afraid. It's a, I notice the difference between a 50p ball, you know. Yeah, yeah. But for, for my Reasonable hand, ball, but for a decent price. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And that's it really. Thank that's you very it. much. We Thank shall you. crack on back with the hole where we were at before we did this. Lovely. We've edited this afterwards and I don't know where we were on the it actual course. It could be course. anywhere. It could be <laughs> anywhere. I could be winning, you could be winning. <laughs> All right, thanks John. Okay, so we're on hole number nine, which is our final hole today. Looking across, uh, I think it says 326. Something like that, yeah. It's, it's up a hill and it's over with that. Yeah. Okay. People like me, that's quite scary. For decent drivers, that's not a problem at all. Um, for average drivers, that's not a problem at all. But it just makes you feel like it. It's a big bit of water. It's a big bit of water, straight after the eighth, with yeah. the score cutter. Um, just want to mention before we go any further, Charity Golf Day. Charity Golf Day will be August the 27th here at Trafforn. Uh, price will be £55 each. I'll give you all the details on another video when we actually launch the ticket sales. Um, but pencil that date in the diary if you're interested in coming. Okay. Should be good. There'll be uh, better ball pairs, stable food, but we'll also do a singles comp as well, just for a bit of fun. It'll be a, it'll be a laugh, and that's the important thing, it's all a community. Keep that date in your diary, August 27th. Right, so you've all put that in your diary now, let's watch John hit this shot. Oh, it's a good hit. It's dry, it's pushed it to the right. Well, that's good. Good shot, John. I'll leave that in there because that's where we marked it earlier. Lovely. That'll be fun with a camera. I've got to go way right, way left. But you, uh, you're fine. You're, that's perfect. That's actually straight. Well done. We crack on. I'm over the water, but I'm on the right hand side. Put that thread in for a needle job. I've been. I could like trap it out to the left here, but you are as far as I am here, so I'm probably going a bit further and try and get through these gaps. Yeah, there's big I'm, gaps there, I'm I think, not John. Saying which one? No, 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 no. The, any, any gap will do. The skill would be I could hit any of those, and I'll probably just do it naturally. You know, um, just get further up and hopefully not hit a tree. That's a great shot. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Skipping along. One thing is actually skipping along. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Couldn't do anything else. No. Nope. Right then, Neil. So, if I look directly, or people look directly past your shoulder, that's kind of where the flag is. Yeah. It, it does go a bit right to left off this angle. Yeah. There's a lot of trees and there's a lot of bunkers and not much green. No. If see. if uh, that was the other Neil, he'd yeah. be whacking it over those trees and going straight to green. I don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm going to do a Neil. I think I'm going to try and go that way. Yeah. I'll um, I'll lift it a little bit higher then. Almost kind of cut a little bit of a bend off. Certainly got the height, distance. You've got to be up near there, though, aren't you? I think it's okay. It's not far away. I don't no, think. very good. Damn you, that's very good. Kind of where I wanted it to go, more or less. Well, that, that's further. the key. But it's a little bit more distant. It is, but at least it, at least you, know, you talk the shot you wanted. Yeah. You, you execute oh, the shot the you talk, wanted. John. I can talk the talk. I look so walk the often, story. he walks the walk. Honestly, he does. Eighteen point what? Nine. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go and find mine, which happens to be on a fairway. I'm going with an eight. It's about 100 and 
125, which actually, well, on a good day, when I hit it perfectly, that is 125 away at iron. It's a bad day, it's a wet day, and it, yeah, okay. It's wet, it's heavy, it's not going as far. Oh, John's pulled that over to the left. Yeah, I'm trying to hard. Suddenly, like, oh, I need to unfit. it. Like I said earlier on this thing, when I unfit, they kind of go badly. I think the shot trace is going to be quite tricky on that one. I don't do a shot trace on that one. Oh, well. No, Neil's up there because he thought his ball was up nearer the flag, or at least nearer the green. Unfortunately, I've just found it and it's there. Must have gone over the first lot of tree, but just clipped the second one coming down. So he's got a bit further to go than he thinks. So maybe I shouldn't have really tried quite so hard on that last shot, but that's okay. So we were just saying off camera that the problem I had then was I thought this is now too far for my eight. Yeah. So I tried far too hard to just put as much oomph in it as possible, which, which doesn't work. No. You lose control, it's all a mess. Yeah. Kind of got me near, but not, not yeah. close enough. So, unfortunately with you, you went for it, yeah. caught the tree. Yeah, you're looking up, they are there. Yeah. We thought they were mostly air, but they're not, obviously. No, I've no. found the 10% that's not air, I think. So this is your third shot? Third shot. See how you can do with it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Still everything to play for right now. Yeah, it seems to be at the back of the green, I think, the flag. Did it well. That looked like a great shot. Great shot. <laughs> Thank you. I would zoom in, but I was looking up in the air, actually. I really was. I was I looking up. Oh, bugger, I should have looked at the camera. Right, we'll go and take a look. Okay, so, I'll just actually say, you mind again, how many times have you been using this today? Almost every hole, I think. It's, it's become my kind of, this is my go-to distance. In the same way, if this was dry, and there wasn't a bunk in the way, it'd be a dinky nine distance. So, that's what you have to do, I think, as a high ending. I've used those extra shots, get you close enough, to be our scoring shots. Yeah. Of course, I've never got to get over a bunker. It's a good hit. Rolling on. Nice shot, Rolling John. On. Still a bit short, but we're there for the same amount. Are you there for four or I'm there for three? Shot. Yeah. Okay, so as Neil walks into where his ball is, he's got slightly further to go than me. I, there is a ridge, and I got to the ridge, didn't get up it. Uh, Neil didn't quite make the ridge. No, it's a bit short. So that's okay. From where no, absolutely. I'm... So it's a putting competition again. We are, strictly speaking, level with the shot. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was a right to left or a left to right from there, but that's not bad. That's short. But it's winter golf again, and the greens are slower here than I'm used to. They're yeah, probably absolutely. cutting them slightly long. Surprisingly, I thought it'd be a bit thicker. But never mind, we're still there. So as John says, he is just under the brow of the slope. Yeah. That's a great putt. Ooh, just whizzes past slightly, but it's good. It's 18 inches, mate. Yeah. <sighs> For a lot of people, that'd be a good day. Yeah. So. so I could do with this one going in, really. You put the camera down, just, I hope shot, that's all I can say. Just to make you... Yeah, I better <laughs> check, John. You're yeah. getting a bit cocky there. No, 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 I'm just wondering. Right. You'll be fine, go on. It's got a wider lens than I think. Oh, oh, that was in and out. It went round and round the decided to have a look at the scenery and too late. Unlucky, mate. Tuck that in. So in theory, I probably won the hole. I'll make you, I'll make you put it, though, just for oh, the glory. Yeah, just for the glory, John, I think you should put it. <sighs> well done. So, quickly, lip round the front. We're running out of battery on this camera right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> Old camera. So, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Well played. Thank you for the little interview today. That's just all right. so we give a little bit more of an insight into one of the Buccaneers, the new ones. Yep. And uh, we're going to some videos with the other Buccaneers so you'll kind of know more about them as well. Um, but if you'd like to take part in this, like to take 
part in the, I think we used to call it Meat with Oggy or something, something like, like that. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Round with Oggy, Round with Oggy was it? Or Round with Oggy, yeah. Something Normally like about that. six holes, but yeah. in theory. But hey, if you want to showcase your course, come and show me the course, come and show the viewers the course, let me know. Message below or contact me on bigoggygolf at gmail.com or any of my social media. And we'll try and organise some of these little events this year. Right, we're off. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Foreign for Lads coming film. Very um, nice course, but highly very recommend nice course. it. Highly recommend it. It's really good. Well, and then we're having the golf day here, 27th yeah. of August. Mark it in your diary. There'll be a video out very soon to tell you how to get tickets. If Again, if you want to join the Big Oggy Golf group, society, whatever we're calling it right now, the Buccaneers group, £5 a month, you will get advanced notice of tickets. Part of the first perk you're going to get this year. There'll be others. Bye everybody, speak Bye. soon.